In this video, I'll be creating a wrecked reverse dip. Coming up. Hi, my name is Susan King, and if this is your first visit to my channel, thanks for stopping by and welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn a reverse dip into a beautiful wrecked reverse dip. Okay, hello. I'm going to do a dip. I just tried one and it did not work out. So I'm going to try it again. I think I might have had too much, too much paint on the bottom. Because it seemed to have swallowed up the rest of the colors. So I'm going to put less on here than I did before. I'm just going to go over the edges a little bit. I'm not going to cover the whole edge. I'll do that at the end if it turns out. All right, so, uh, and I don't have a nice red anymore that I really, really, really liked. So, let's see if I can get a different red. I don't know if this is too thick now or not. No, it's not. It's not bad. I'm not even sure what kind of red this is. It's like a scarlet, maybe. Crimson. No, it can't be crimson because that's crimson and it's darker than this, so. It's all leftover paints that I'm using, so. Sorry about the chainsaw, <laughs> if you can hear that. Okay. Oops. This one is Reflex Rose by Amsterdam. did not mean to do that, so now I've got to match it up on the other sides just to make it look like I meant to do that. All right, that's enough of that. This is, oops, um, I think it's um, a red violet, not positive. I have to start marking everything I do down on my paints because the paints, I don't know whether they're a bloom paint, whether they're a um, mix or a um, swipe, I don't know what they are, so it would help to know that. <clears throat> um, Um, I'm 
I'm going to put a little bit of this on. It's Amsterdam Pearl Red. If I can, if it's um, a proper thickness. Where's my, I'll have to see what it's like. Oh, it's awfully thick. Gonna add a touch of water. Be still a little too thick now, but uh, I'll give it a try. I'm going to try a little bit more of my, or I'm going to try some of my Vallejo Pearl Medium, and I believe I mixed it with um, uh, just water or pouring medium. Could have mixed it with Floetrol, I can't remember now. I, did, I didn't mark it again. So this, I know this is not very good for tutorial for you, and I'm sorry. Okay, fingers crossed, <clears throat> get my paper towel, Oops. and I will dampen it, I usually dampen it with water, distilled water, I just have pa ordinary paper towel. And just very lightly dampen it doesn't have to be soaking wet. So I'm just going to fold it like that, place it down. And then bring the other half over. And the reason it's done this way is just try and make sure that you don't have any air bubbles. And I'm lightly patting it down now just to make sure it makes contact with the paper towel so there's no air pockets. Okay, I think it's good. Now I'm going to lift the two corners first, then the other ones, and I'm going to slowly lift. I don't like how you get that line in it. Great. Next time I should lay it across that way.
I don't think it's any good. Not liking it. I don't like the paper towel thing, the folding thing. I don't like it at, at all. It always leaves a line like that. So I am going to add a little bit more paint and um, and a different pattern. I'm going to use something else to put over top instead of the paper towel. Determined to get a reverse dip done today. I haven't done one in ages. I've been doing so many blooms and swipes. I almost forget how to do a reverse dip. And I got a problem there. Okay. These spoons aren't the greatest for applying the paint. I'm just gonna Do this. I didn't use any of this, just a little bit. Oh, actually, it does come off good. It's got to be the right consistency in order to come off pretty smooth like this. plastic. I used to use plastic before and it worked out pretty good so I'm going to try it again. Let's make sure I cut the right size. Should I do the pearl or not? Pearl.
All right, so I am going to apply my plastic and it's tricky to do this. You just start off with that one side, whoops, and just hope you don't get too many air bubbles. I'm going to slowly lower it to the canvas. Pat and patting it down. I have a big air bubble right there. I don't know if I have any more air bubbles. I can't. To make sure. I think I got it all. I hope so. And again, lifting the corners. Looks a little better. It's working. I think it's working. I don't know about this. Not sure about it. I really am not sure about it. Don't really like it that much. Not having much luck at reverse dips right now. Hmm. I'm not too sure about it. I don't like it. I tried to run a stick through off camera and it might have improved it a bit. I don't know. So I'm going to keep going with this and if I don't like it, I'm going to swipe it. It's almost looking pretty cool, actually. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know, 
I don't know. I'm so picky. I'm beginning to like it. I think it looks pretty cool. I do. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, I came back with the dried result. Um, it dried not too bad. It's a little, it was a little thick, so it's a little bit um, bumpy, but it's not really bad. There's no actual cracks in it. Um, it is too dark though. It did dry a lot darker than the original. And that <clears throat> is ink. <clears throat> and that is because I added ink into some of the paints. And I used um, all leftover paints when I did this. Um, as well as uh, I did this very, just the same day that I did my last um, painting. So, <clears throat> not realizing that it was going to dry that dark, um, again, this is another lesson. Uh, don't add too much acrylic ink. If you are adding acrylic ink to your paints, don't add too much. Only add a couple of drops. So, um, this is what would happen. It would, your painting would dry too dark. The, there's, <clears throat> it's mostly these reds here that are uh, really dark. The pink or the uh, reflex rose is fine. There was no ink in that. So, anyway, so I guess this, is, this dried result is uh, a sh to show you what not to do to your paints. Don't add too much uh, acrylic ink if that's what you're doing. Okay? So if you um, would like to subscribe and uh, like this video, I'd appreciate it. If you like uh, to watch another video of mine, there's some uh, videos popping up on the screen at the moment. And you can click on one of those and watch it. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.